Okay, I'm going to do a brief over on what is called the Voyager here. I am Voyager, Vigor, Vigor, that's right, Vigor, one of the letters was missing in the Star Trek, remember that? From Kimball, this thing I got has a spec deal, uh, kind of, I didn't know what was in it, it's all LSI chips, <laughs> so it doesn't have any chip value, <laughs> really, I mean, actually it does for, they're using different organs, some are over $100 for some of the chips if you have to buy them, but but uh, I just mean uh, as far as uh, analog synth realm, not so much. So uh, this thing has a mystery switch here. I don't know what that does. It's and it, the cap was missing. Everything else is perfect on this thing, and it um, really uh, is just doing a uh, clarinet right now. We got your basic full organ. We got your basic trumpet. Got your violin coming through this speaker. By the way, I don't even have it in my mains. Clarinet, and you know the quality of the sounds isn't bad on it. It's it's pretty well up to speed with um, yeah the preset machines of its day. I guess it's probably a mid to late to later 70s thing. And uh, piano, yeah piano. So, um, kind of has has a nicely. I, I will say that for what they had to work with on the tones, it it does have a very very nice uh, few tones there. It doesn't have raspy digital sounding <laughs> edges. The banjo, the Hawaiian guitar, certainly our favorite there. And um, then you, of course, get into the uh, rhythm section, which is your basic. I was learning Hogan's Heroes on this thing. I'm going to try doing a remake of that sometime. A whole new cast, where, like we all get thrown into you know, FEMA camps, and you've got you know, uh, some analogy to Her Colonel Hogan and, and uh, Clink and all these guys. Schultz. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Roll call. Um, so uh, we got your uh, now you know this is just one at a time they don't mix and if you go to the right it's just you can just go straight through them like that so it just takes precedence to the left it's your basic brush and pop drum waltz slow run country swing march rock and roll boss nova and tango there. And then uh, you've got various things here. The magic preset. That's your magic preset, I guess. Yeah, I, it just overcomes whatever sound you have over there, and it says, no, you'll do this one now. Okay. And then we got your, I don't know what's magic about. I haven't figured that out. The magic, I have not figured out, but the magic memory is that uh, what? Doesn't sound good. Uh, the magic memory is that it kills your rhythm. No, <laughs> no, actually, it works if you have. Let's see. Okay, the magic chord, the musical rhythm. Okay, there's your magic chord down there. Right, the musical rhythm. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the the sound down here gets reiterated by the rhythm. And then the solo chord, because um, we have what? Huh. That normally will do some kind of chord up there, I think. Now we can put the magic memory on and it'll... There we go. Now it remembers everything. Okay. Yeah, that's that's everything's okay. Everything's cording there. Anyway, yeah. And so it's yeah, that type of machine uh, has those homey organ kind of features, yet uh not too many in a small box. <laughs> so now I'm gonna take a look at the Suzuki um uh, preset machine that somebody wants me to do before I sell it on reverb. And I'll probably put this one up too.
Now another auto accompaniment wonder here, the Suzuki Keyman PK49. I've got the PA, PK61 also, but uh, they're kind of similar. This one has a little less stuff, but this one I've got up for sale on Reverb, so... Um, this one, instead of like the uh, one we just looked at from the 70s probably, and this one has um, water on it. <laughs> that was fuzz. Okay. Um, you can select, hitting this keyboard select, and it hesitates when you do it. But now there's the violin. Similar kind of to the tone we had on the other one, actually. Flute. Kind of low flute. When they say flute on organ, they just mean a smooth sound, generally. <laughs> Sinusoidal component is pretty heavy. And um, clarinet. a fairly nice round sound. Down here I've got I've got all these buttons pushed so it's doing some stuff with the rhythm. And you can pick different rhythms of course by doing the same thing. You can also turn a metronome on and off. It has a um, sequencer. I'm not sure how to use it yet. <laughs> it's one of those things where the interface you have to kind of play around with it I guess. Drums have an intro break and you can put it on key start, much like the other one, to trigger that. And then, um, let's see, we can, um, let's turn the rhythm off, or we can just turn it down with the volume. And then uh, we can go, let's see, just do the sounds here. Is that the jazz organ? No, I, I missed, I, I hit too low. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. And there are no modulation buttons or anything. It's pretty straightforward, simple, low expression kind of thing. And then let's see. Uh, trumpet, guitar. set up still with the rhythm going down. So we'll listen to that kind of thing we hit down there. Okay. Piano. How can we just make it full keyboard? Yeah, you just turn all these off. Split and chords. There we go. Okay, lovely. Now, let's see, uh, the piano, the electric piano. Well, that's a ringer, isn't it? Hear that? Yeah, let's just let the digital overtone be our expressional content. <laughs> that's what makes some machines kind of... You know, but I think they were kind of using whatever they felt like to make that electric piano. It certainly is electric, and it sounds like a piano. <laughs> and a pipe organ. Yeah. Pipe organ. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, we did... Oh, electric piano. Violin, you heard. Not low, you didn't. There, this sounds like a cello down low, more. And uh, accordion. Okay. Uh, left off, giving you the, the flute, or the last of the sounds there, I think. Let's just go through all the rhythms here real quick. That's your ballad. 
do that. Kicks into it after a little, yeah. Your rock after your S rock, which is what? I don't know. Boom, boom, boom. Notice how the patterns are, the sounds are similar to the ones in the earlier uh, Kimball thing there. Earlier. That was a uh, disco and this is an 8 beat. And I'm going to run out of finger spanner pretty quick. Bossa. I'm going to have to go down here. Bamba. Country. Waltz, swing. Okay, there are your rhythms from this thing, and uh, it's got some kind of serial rate thing there. It's got a demo song when the saints come marching in. <laughs> Okay, uh, sequencer right. I don't know how to use a sequencer, like I say, so you have to find a manual if you want to learn how to use that. And, or play around with it until you figure it out. <laughs> but anyway, all those yeah, things, you can turn the bass on and off and all the stuff for the audio comp. It's pretty cool. All right. Um, yeah. Well, that's, I'm running out of battery here, or memory. <laughs>